Man, last night was kind of wild for your boy. But what about you, though, with the date, man? What's up, baby girl? Yay. Talk thick thing. Hey, man. Thought it was a freak. Oh, I know she was. Sure, man. All she kept asking during the date was, what we doing next? What we doing next? So me, I'm trying to play it cool, you know, like, so we can go see a movie, go bowling or something. She said, nah. It was like I want to go bowling in this sexy-ass dress. Ooh. I said, nah, baby, you don't. It look like you might want to go dancing or something. Okay. And wrong again. She say, I'm trying to get what? Stop. Nick almost made me choke on my apple pie, dog. Hey, what'd you say? And the next thing that came out of my mouth was, <clears throat> check, please. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> you get up out of there. Man, I had to skedaddle. No doggy bag, no nothing, man. I left him a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, what's up with y'all, man? The club was nice to y'all last night. You already know I had to take something home, bro. So, yeah, I took her home, murdered it, as I do. You know, had a text of me talking about some, good morning, handsome. Because you know once they get a little taste, they can't replace, you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, man. <laughs> Yo, Tate, man, what you mean I took her back to the crib and murdered it? I dropped you off at home last night. Don't you remember, bro? I had baby girl from the club in the front with me. He was in the back seat, drunk as hell. You couldn't drive home. You stumbled to your front door, bro. No, no, no. See, what happened was, like, she, I gave her my info in the club. So then she came through after you dropped me off, and then I tore her down. That's what happened. Date, man, why are you only <laughs> doing this, bro? You stay lying on your, bro? Oh, man, Y'all ain't got to believe me. <laughs> we don't. Exactly. Anyways, what's up with old girl from the front seat? I know you ain't bring her back here, did you? Yeah, because why not? It's my crib. Baby girl got active last night, too. You know what I mean? I damn near drowned in the juices. I and mean, she soaked my sheets like crazy. I took a picture, sent it to her, and I said, hey, you owe me a cleaning bill. Oh, man, come on, dog. You telling me old girl was a squirter? Link Minnetonka. Nah, I knew I should have bagged her up. You lucky I let you have her, bro. Hey, why you, what are you talking about, bro? I bagged her at the bar. You was nowhere in sight. You was on the dance floor doing that little dumb dance you be doing. Uh, that dance be working, though, don't it? It do be working. Yeah, yeah see? It do be working. Sometimes. <laughs> there you go with that hating shit, bro. Ain't nobody hating. I'm just saying you had no chance with it, bro. Whatever, dog. <laughs> Anyways, man, I think you playing it too close to home, though, bro. Because if Nakia catch you, you know she gonna be tripping. Carl, what you mean if she catch me? I'm a grown ass man, bro. And we done, man. She can't do shit. We are over. We not even dating no more. Yeah, but y'all always over and done with and back on together every six months. Yeah, and if Nakia catch you, she gonna beat your ass and old girl ass. You remember having the shot that was talking to him too close at that party? Oh. She dragged her, snatched her wig off, threw that shit out the window. <laughs> and it ended up being your cousin. Yeah, Tanisha got stitches and all that, but hey, that was in the past, bro. We're done. We're finito. Over. See, that's how I know this nigga lying. There's no way you would risk somebody's life over some buns. That's just stupid. Matter of fact, speaking of lying on your meat, let me see that picture you sent the old girl. <laughs> Tate, unlike you, bro, I'm telling the truth. You can see the picture, bro. You know what I mean? I'm thorough with mine. Get this picture up real quick. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Proof. Go. I'm talking about lying on my nah, meat. You know, my boy don't lie on his meat, man. Right. Okay. Exactly. So I knew this nigga was lying. You had Nikia over here last night. What are you talking about? Bro, you sent this message to Nakia, not to some new girl. Why about I send a picture to Nakia of me and another chick? I don't even make. Fuck! Drew, bro. Don't tell me you accidentally sent the text to Nakia. Damn, she texted me this morning, bro. I didn't know the thread was up. I'm Bet you wish your ass was lying now. Hey. Hey. Oh my God. I did not mean to oversleep. Are you fine? You were sleeping so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you up. Made you some coffee, though. You made me some coffee? Yeah. Dark roast, one cream, I remember. Thank you. I mean, I should probably head out, though. You know, actually, I was thinking, maybe I can take you for breakfast. I know a really good spot down the street I want to take you to. You want to take me to breakfast? Yeah, why not? You gotta eat, right? I mean, I guess, but I thought you got what you wanted last night. I mean, you know, last night was amazing, but that was just the appetizer. I'm in this for the full course meal, five courses and dessert. Okay. You enjoy your coffee, take your time. I'm gonna go get me a cup and when you're ready, come on out. 
Okay, I will. What the f So I was thinking of the kid. What's going on? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Something came up. What you mean? So rain check? I'll call you. But you ain't even got my my number. Hey, girl, what's up? Girl, I'm sitting outside Drew's house and I'm about to go in there and go crazy on this son of a... <sighs> he lucky I got love for his mama. What, what, wait a minute, what the hell happened? I thought you was at, what's his name? Mark's house last night. I did. Okay, so how did we go from being at Mark's to now you sitting outside of Drew's house this morning? All I know is I was in heaven last night and I swear I feel like I'm about to do something that's gonna take me to hell. Okay, just calm down. Woosa. I don't even know why I'm so mad because I don't know what this is in this picture that he sent me. But if it is what I think it is, I'm going to snap on him, Toya, I swear. Now, girl, you know from Jump Street, I'm going to tell you it's not worth it. That's why you called me, so I can reconfirm that for you. Now that I've done that, tell me what the f*** is going on. I know it's not worth it, girl, but this motherfucker gets on my last nerve. And he sent me a picture with his bed all messed up. And the text read, you owe me a cleaning bill, LOL. What do you mean? What, what picture? Hold on. I'm going to send it to you right now. Let me know when you get it. Hold on. Let me check. What the f Are you serious? Exactly. I'm about to go in there and break everything in that bitch. Whoa, wait a minute. Do you even know if this is his bed for sure? Yes, it's his bed, Toya. I picked out the sheets. Oh, God. Look, I still say it's not worth it. You told me specifically that you wanted to get over him. Ain't that the reason why you went on a date last night? By the way, how was that? It was great. I stayed the night. Bitch, what? You f***ed him already? I mean, we had a little fun. But that's neither here nor there. So why are you even stooping down to his level? You know he doing this just to get to you, and you letting him win. You're right. I'm sick of this shit. I just want this to be over. So go in there and tell him that. He at least owes you an explanation for why he sent the picture. So go find out. And let him know that you don't play with his games. Do it for your satisfaction, not his. You're right. I know I'm right. Now go in there and do what you got to do, girl. And don't do what you guys normally do. And what's that? Argue, fight, make up, make love, and do this again in a couple of months. Nope, that's not happening, Toya. I'm tired of this back and forth. I'm just sick of it all. Okay, so go in there and demand whatever it is that you need from him, baby girl. Whether it's an explanation or whatever it is, you need to move on. That's the only way you're going to be free of it all. Either way, you know I'm here for you. Thank you, girl. I'm about to go in there and let his ass have it. I'll call you as soon as I leave there. Okay, girl. Just don't get out of character. Nah, I know exactly what character I'm about to give him. <laughs> okay, be safe. And call me if you need me to bring that strap up there. Because you know I will. You stupid girl. Bye. Bye. This bitch gonna fuck him. Nah, man, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here, bro. I can't believe she get beat up, big homie. What you doing? I'm gonna roll, too. I gotta check out an apartment. Y'all leaving? Hey, Y'all some suckers, man. Go ahead, let her ass in, man. I ain't tripping. I'm just gonna put her in her place. <laughs> you gonna put her in her place? All y'all gonna do is kiss, make up, and be together again, off and on for the next six months. Whatever. 
<laughs> Nikia, I thought that was you. Where's your friend at? Hey, we still on for poker tonight, right, big homie? Yeah, if he's still alive. True. Yeah, y'all gone. Goodbye. How many times I got to tell you, woman, stop talking to my boys like that? You shouldn't be worried about how I'm talking to your friends, but more worried about how I'm gonna be talking to you. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, bro, we good for the night. I'll see you all night. All right. Bye, Kia. What is it down to, Kia? And before you answer that, I already told you, stop banging on my door like you immigration. You know I'm half Mexican, and that shit freaks me out. I ain't told your dumb ass a billion times. You were born in America. They cannot deport you. Well, tell my father that, all right? Because they deported his ass when I was three years old, and I ain't seen him since. Listen, I didn't come here and talk about your daddy issues, okay? Hey, what you come here for, the kid? I'm here to talk about that picture you sent me. What picture? Don't act stupid, Drew. That picture of your bed, looking like somebody pissed in it. Oh. Yeah, I must have said that by mistake. Mistake? So that text was meant for somebody else? Yeah, yeah, exactly, it was. So who was it meant for? Some bitch you already fucking? No, man, what are you talking about? So if it wasn't for a bitch, then who was it for? One of your friends? Yeah, it was. You telling me you sent one of your homeboys a text of your bed looking like it's been pissed in, saying they owe you a cleaning bill? Nah, nah, all right, I was lying. See, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. We ain't even together no more, and you still fucking lying? Is it because you fucking somebody I know? Or you just set this whole shit up just to hurt me? Yeah, exactly why I did it. I did it to hurt you. My bad. I did it to get you mad. Stand up for me real quick. What? I want to look you in your eyes. I want you to look at me, Drew. I'm looking at you. Drew, we're grown, right? Yeah, we're grown. And you were grown. Why are we still playing these games? I'm not playing games, kid. I just hold on. Let me finish. I know now that you didn't mean to send me that text on purpose. Just be a man for once. Just tell me the truth, please. Nakia, I am telling you the truth. Drew, I'm begging you. I just need you to do this for me. Just tell me the truth, please. All right, if I tell you the truth, I promise you're not gonna break shit and go crazy. I just want the truth. All right. I had a chick off. I had a woman over here last night. I tried to send her the text message this morning and I sent it to you by accident. It was a mistake. Look, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Nikki, you asked me to be honest, all right? That's what I'm doing. So be honest and tell me this. How did you send that text to me on accident? All right, this morning, you sent me a text telling me you was coming to get your laptop later on the day. By mistake, I responded to your text thread instead of hers, and I sent you the picture on accident. Okay, so what was that in your bed? She pissed in it? No. So what was that? You know what, it's nothing, Nakia. Let's not talk about that, let's move on. Move on. It's a great choice of words. I already know, Drew, you had some random in your bed. Just tell me the truth, please. Tell me everything. All right. All right, it wasn't piss. It wasn't juices. What? It was her juices. Okay, so you got here fucking bitches so good. You got them squirting and shit. Thank you. Thank you for being honest. 
I needed that closure. Kia. And Drew, since we're being honest, it's super ironic. I swear to last night too. It was my first time. And that's dick you tasted on my breath. Hell no, eh? I can't believe her. I can't believe her. Nah, hell no. Nah. You played me, man. I can't believe you played me, man. I'm gonna get my sister and body slam your ass. <laughs> I got something for her. I got something for her, man. <laughs> Today, oh. I'm gonna get my sister to beat your ass, girl. <laughs> Damn, bitch, are you serious? You really told him that? Yep, I sure did. Damn, this breakup got you on some savage shit. What you mean? What you mean? What I mean? You giving niggas head on the first date? That ain't you. Toya, now you know me better than that. I ain't give that nigga no head. We ain't even have sex. Uh-uh, wait a minute. You told me that y'all had fun last night. And we did. So, y'all ain't have sex. You didn't give him head. Yep, the niggas are much. <laughs> wait a minute. So he just gave you head. Yeah, even after I told him I was not going to return the favor. What, bitch? And his tongue game could win a thumb wrestling contest. No. <laughs> Hold on, so what was that that Drew tasted? Well, if you must know, we finished, you know, we kissed a little bit. That dumbass nigga Drew was tasting my juices. <laughs> bitch, that is so fucked up. You probably got that nigga sick to his stomach thinking he tasted dick. Good, that's what he get. Having randoms in his bed already. Mm -mm, no comment. Mm. So, uh, what's up with you and Mr. Munch Rap Supreme? <laughs> See, man, that's why I don't tell you nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. No, for real. You gonna see him again or what? I don't know. I didn't even get his number. I do got him on the ground, though. But I'm too embarrassed to hit him up, especially after leaving the way I did. What, you run out of there or something? Bitch, yes. Left him hanging in mid-sentence. He was talking about taking me to breakfast and everything. Hold on. So you ain't even stay for a bowl of Captain Munch? <laughs> okay. I'm done. I promise. <laughs> like, come on. Seriously. I really like him. And now I can't even contact him. That's why I can't stand Drew. Girl, if your ass don't hit him up on the gram, better yet, go to his house. You already know where he live. And what am I supposed to say when he opens the door? Just go up to him, look him in the eyes, and say, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> I cannot stand you. <laughs> oh, <cheers. laughs> That's what I'm saying, though, bro. I ain't miss. I really had some buttons come through. OK, Tate. Oh, OK, Tate, me, bro. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> bro, you ever thought about opening up a list? My nigga, I'm not capping. I really had some buns slide through. We went two and a half rounds like a Mike Tyson fight. You serious, my nigga? Two and a half rounds? What's a half a round, bruh? Bro, last round, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't performed too well. She caught me slipping, hit me with an early knockout, you know? Whatever, man. Bruh, I got receipts. Look, bro, you got your finger on the cover in the name, bro. Like, Bro, come on, man, you bullshit. You sent them to yourself? Bro, I just can't tell you it's from just yet. Just know that I got it in, though. You sent them from your iPad, didn't you? Did you get the Casamigos, bro? Yeah, I got the Casamigos. It's in the bag. Why you keep changing the subject, bro? You don't believe me, huh? Exactly. I don't. Bro, I'm telling you, man, this, is, this chick is different, man. She thick, voluptuous, got them heavies. 
beautiful brown skin popping. This I've been waiting on this for a minute, man. You sound like a baddie, bro. A baddie you can't get. <laughs> Speaking of baddies, you can't get. Boy, you crazy, nigga. Watch me work. Wait. Watch me work. <laughs> What's happening, little mama? What's up, baby? Not today, Carl. I'm pressed for time. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just came over to say hello. Hello. Hey, what, what's up? I don't, I don't like to see you stressed out like this. I mean, I, I get your groceries if you want me to. <laughs> I'm just playing. But how about this? When you hit my line tonight and when time permits, we go get drinks. Carl, you been asking me out since the sixth grade. Give it up. I'm good. Hey, I ain't, I ain't giving up, right? You've been ducking and dodging me since the sixth grade, too. What's your excuse right now? You don't like bottomless mimosas? And where exactly do they serve bottomless mimosas at night? At my crib. I got the mimosas. You bring the bottomless. Goodbye, Carl. Come on. So you're supposed to laugh at that. That's a joke. No, stop tripping in. How about tonight? You just come over and watch a little movie with me. You trying to Netflix and chill on the first date? <laughs> Absolutely not. Nah, you ain't even like that. I got Hulu. You got Disney Plus? I do. I know what movie you should watch. What's that? Home Alone. Wow, that, that caught me off guard. I ain't gonna lie. Crazy, I just got done watching Home Alone. Oh yeah, and tell your boy Drew he ain't taste no dick. Oh, what? What What, is, what does that mean? Just tell him he ain't taste no dick. Nikia lied. Damn, whatever, man. Hey, you wanna taste some? Spaghetti? I'm making spaghetti tonight. You see, you thinking nasty already. We ain't even on the first date yet. I'll pass. That's cool. You don't deserve my spaghetti anyways. <laughs> it's okay, Carl. We all swing and miss. Yeah, whatever, bro. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> when that Remy's in my sister, ain't no telling if I fuck her or I diss some back shots got her yelling. I done caught another victim. Yeah, I done caught another victim. <laughs> Tate, what's up? What's good, man? I don't know, bro. It's been 15 minutes. He ain't open the door. Bro, just open the door, bro. He usually leaving a lot. I can't just walk in the homie crib unannounced. Oh, that's rude. Open the door, bro. All right. Bro, go. <laughs> what's wrong with you, man? Drew. Yo, yo, Drew. <laughs> I'm in here. What's wrong with you, bro? I gotta take a rain check. I ain't feeling too good. You ain't feeling good? You got a cold or something? Something going on with my throat. I think I got tongue cancer. Drew, how the fuck you got tongue cancer you don't even smoke? Come on, man. Bro, we got the homies coming, man. We got food, got liquor. What's up, bro? Carl, Tate. All right, I'm done, man. My stomach upset, all right? I think I'm dying, man. I'm in the room for the rest of the night. All right, bro. We still going to play. Where the poker set at? Front closet, top shelf. All right, I'm going to set that up. You get well soon or something, my nigga. This nigga dramatic. I mean, you dying, got tongue cancer. Oh, yeah, and uh, Toya told me to tell you that you didn't taste dick. That shit weird. I don't... What? Nigga, don't shoot the messenger, bro. Like... Please. Carl, tell me exactly what she said, man. I don't know. She said something about... Uh, Nikia said that she lied to you about you tasting dick, bro. Like, don't make me repeat that shit, bro. I didn't taste no dick. <laughs> I didn't taste no... Bro. I knew she wasn't that crazy, man. Oh, shit. She almost had me. I thought I was dying, my nigga. She almost had me, bro. Who? Do I even want to know? No, you don't. But give me two minutes, and I'm going to come kick y'all asses in Texas. Hold them. I bet, man. I do it. Hell fucking yes. <laughs> this guy right here. I can't find that poker set nowhere, bro. Oh, Drew coming out. Here, grab it. Oh, snap. What up, little bro? Watch your little brother get his money took. Man, you crazy, man. New position, new money. Yeah, I'm assistant manager now. But look, I'm here to take y'all money. 
<laughs> y'all trying to lose y'all bread to the man of the house? Oh, man. Come <laughs> on, man. Yes, sir. My oh, boy, back from the dead, huh? Yeah, I thought man. she was sick, bro. Oh, not no more, man. I'm revived. Feel me? Hey, yo, yo, what's up, yo, 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 my yes, boy, what's yeah, up, doggy? Man. My man, what's up? Yeah, Little homie, you chilling? Yeah. Oh wow, man, there you go, right there. What's up, man? What's up, dog? Oh, snap! Oh, hey, nigga. Miles, what you doing, bro? What the fuck, Miles? He know what he did. What'd he do? This motherfucker fucking my wife. Yeah. Hey. What you doing here? I'm just coming by to say what's up. What's up? So you leaving? I think he was home. What? Did you ring the doorbell? Yeah, I rang it. Once. That's weird. I didn't get no notification. I usually get notifications on my thing. Alright, look. To be honest. I just wanted to come by to say sorry. Thank you. You ain't got to apologize about nothing? No, Mark, I do. I want to say I'm sorry for running up out of here the way I did the other day, especially after we had such a good time. We had a good time? You ain't have fun? I mean, I have fun watching you have fun. <laughs> so yeah, we had fun. Okay, well maybe, you, while I was thinking that maybe me and you could, well, maybe. Oh. Would you like to go out with me again? Yes, I would love that. Cool, well, let's make that happen. But this time, put your number in my phone. <laughs> I got you. Man, where your brother at, man? He late. Oh, no. We got 30 minutes of trailers. Why you tripping? Nah, I gotta watch all the coming attractions, every single one. The coming what? Coming attractions, man. All the previews before the movie. You mean the trailers? Trailers, coming attractions, the same thing, Goofy. Fellas. What's up, boy? What's up, buddy? Chilling. Whoa. What happened to your face, boy? Oh, I had an audition, man. You know, I'm on my myth shit. You look just like daddy. Yeah, Mr. Johnson Jr. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all got jokes. Let's go catch this movie, man. I'm trying to see the common attractions. Is that coming? Man, what's, yep. what's up with y'all? Man, bro, now we gotta buy snacks because you ain't bring them. One job, bro. Hey, I think it's messed up that taste smash your homie wife, though. Yeah. I mean, technically, she and his wife. They divorced, ain't they? That's the problem with you young niggas in y'all generation, man. You ain't got no man code. Exactly, man. I'm just saying, you can't blame him. Chantel a baddie. Yeah, she is. Oh, speaking of baddies, what's up, baby girl you smashed last week? Ooh, man, baby girl ain't been texting me back. Damn. Man. You gave her that lowercase d? <laughs> man, you crazy, man. I was waxing that, man. Halfway through, she damn near fainted. You sure she wasn't falling asleep? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm sure, man. The way her legs were shaking, I was all up in that. Ain't no way you could pretend that, man. Hey, it's LA. Everybody pretended, don't we? <laughs> Smell like hate to me. Ah. Hey, man, you buying my popcorn, bro. Hey, whatever, man. Extra salty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, young nigga. You don't have to come to the back no more. Everybody already knows. Hence the fucking black eye. Can I come in? No, I'm packing. I gotta get out of here by the first. You know that. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't know he was gonna hit you like that. He just walked right in, said what's up to the homies, and punched me in my face. He snuck me. Well, how did he sneak you if he walked straight up to you? Because I wasn't expecting it, Chantel. Oh. Nobody expects your homie to show up handing out knuckle sandwiches like a pissed off lunch lady. Well, did you hit him back? Just say he's lucky that the homies was holding me back. I'm glad they broke you up. Y'all shouldn't be fighting. How do you even find out about us anyway, Chantel? Uh, 
I kind of told him. How do you kind of tell him something like that? I don't know. We were on the phone and it just popped up in conversation. Well, I had to go. Hey, Chantel, what you up to? Nothing, just sleeping with your friend. Okay, you need to calm down because you're talking a little crazy right now. I thought we agreed that we was gonna tell him at the perfect time. It felt like it was the right time. Besides, it would have been worse if you found out from somebody else. This ain't worse? You got me defrosting dinner on my face. Mm, damn. He had his class ring on, didn't he? Yes. It's the only reason it looks like this. Class 06. I see it every time I blink. I'm really sorry, baby. Why was you even answering this nigga's phone calls? Like, what y'all got to talk about? Well, we were talking about getting back together. <gasps> Can I still come in? Your broccoli. Now that was fire. It was, was okay. Nah, man, like, uh oh, girl was just holding them down though. No, man, I need me a ride or die like that, fam. Yeah, she was holding them down for sure, man. And I already got me a ride or die, you feel me? Oh, yeah? What you talking about, Drew? I thought you broke up with Nakia. No, not Nakia, man. I got me a new little thing. Raging Waters? You know it. Uh -huh. Hey, and if I'm being honest, bro, she might be the one. The one? It might be a little bit too early for her. Talking about Raging Waters, the one. Yeah, <laughs> she might be the one, man. She different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when I call, she pick up. I'm like, yo, chick. Ty, still got the jokes. Just huh? saying. That's cool. I like my chicks a little loose. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> she come to see your boy tomorrow. It's on and cracking. Look. Just be careful, big homie. Slow down. What are you, what are you talking about, bro? Slow down. <laughs> you know you talking to, bro? I'm good, man. Matter of fact, where your little ride or die at? <laughs> Look, man, I'm done like you old niggas. I'm in and out animal style. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You gonna leave me hanging? Oh, my fault, boy. <laughs> this must be fate, bro. What are the odds? I'm gonna holler at you. Be right back. There's Raging Waters? Splash. Let's go see this now. Oh, Tisha, babe, what you doing here, girl? Mm. Hey! Mm. <laughs> um, I'm just grabbing dinner real quick. Oh, you grabbing dinner? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Guess what? Up walks dessert. <laughs> we got a little chocolate lava cake. Yeah, hey. you so silly. Um, but I'm about to head out. Where you going, girl? Let me keep you company. That is so sweet of you. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, your friends. They're waiting for you. I'll just see you tomorrow. Ain't nobody worried about my friends. They ain't hey, babe. Ready to go? Who's your friend? Um, babe, this is my yoga instructor, uh, Drew. And Drew, this is my husband. Husband? So you're the yoga instructor? Yeah, man. Um, it's like her yoga, you know? Uh, I help, like, the kids put down their piece and pick up the inner peace. Oh, man, your work is revolutionary. Because of you, she can touch her toes. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. She wasn't able to a week ago. Trust me, I know. I, okay. I know. Babe, um, I'm go, but I'll see you tomorrow in class. Where else did you see her? Yeah, yo, see her. yeah. Hey, don't forget to bring an extra towel next time. You know, the last time you soaked the mat up, crazy. It's hot yoga. It's hot yoga. They turn up the heat in there. That's, that's all. I'll make sure she brings powder. Appreciate you, Ronald. It's Reggie. Reggie. I fought Reggie.
Cuidado por ahí.